All right, up next we've got Charlie Foreman. He's a associate texture artist at Naughty Dog. This is the second time uh, we've been doing a portfolio review of him. Are you ready for all of the balls? Like, I'm not even kidding. All the balls. There's a, there's a lot here. So, Glitchy, after the last portfolio, I will, I will make some extended comments for you based on that. Because now you're, now you're giving me some information that I can work with. So, all these materials look pretty cool. Some of them are pretty stylized. Some of them are going quite realistic. I would definitely start removing some of your other stuff. Maybe you can keep the procedural 3DS, that's cool. I would remove these last two just because they don't do you the service that the rest of your material, materials are doing for you. Next up, I would probably start uh, working on materials that are a bit more, I mean, I think you're already doing it. Materials that are a bit, bit more realistic in the nature of their, val their, their color. I was gonna I want to say value, but that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this stuff's cool. There's some stretching going on, on the side there. I think for the nature of this type of material, I would attempt to create a metal edge here that can mask that uh, better. And then I would really look into why, like, there's, it just feels like there's no lighting or ambient occlusion or anything in this. You know what I mean? Like, this looks very lit. It's like this, this needs to be a really dark scene and then one spotlight that's kind of hitting everything and then, and then just kind of uh, casting those nice shadows and giving you the AO that, that your material deserves. Oh, what? Why? Why? I got you, buddy. So, let's let's see what's going on here with the... Uh... So, it's comments, just materials, really. So, so, for anyone who doesn't know, we do challenges on the, uh, on our Discord every month or every, every, yeah, every... 30 days or so and this was one of them this so this is presented quite nicely I think if this was a warmer light and this was a, a cool light like it is now that I think it would present better having it displayed like this there's something about this that doesn't really read well not sure what it is but this it looks really nice here Making the renders not uniform. So, I like having the renders not uniform. As long as I can see the way that the lighting reacts with the, the surface, I, I really like that. But if you, like, if you look at the way this is set up, it's crazy how simple, how simple this is. But yeah, I, having the, the two colors really helps, in my opinion. Man, I really like this one. It is getting a little on the stretchy side on these sides here. But, uh, so I think what you should do, Charlie, if you want to push yourself further, and this is just my, this is my personal opinion, is try to solve, like this, this was a good thing. Try to solve approaching things that are complex or complicated. Like the, the zipper approach with the, with the actual zipper itself, that's, that's awesome. And then with the wrinkles too, it's super cool. And a pattern just to have on there as well. 
But, uh, what is, what? Oh, man. Brutal. So this one's weird because you're like, wait, did the bullets go into the body, but then they just, they stopped at the surface? <laughs> it's a little, ow. Oh, no. It's, no. Oh. Flick it off, please. Um, yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah. All right. I gotta, I gotta change some. Oh, what's, what's this one? Yeah, yeah, we can do this. Anyways, um, to push your materials further, I would totally pull a Daniel Thiger. Start making materials that make you creative in a way where like you're fighting to stay within reality while you're creating the material. Like I wanna I wanna see like alien alien skin that looks real. Stuff like that. Like I can't even Let's see here. Let's see if we can I can never can never find him for whatever reason. Someone link it in chat. It's killing me. Your materials are really nice though. Look at that bark. Is that really him? Is that his username? What? Yes. So he goes, one thing I really like about his work is he's starting to present things in on shapes. Like this is really interesting to me. But like, this stuff. What? Tree bark. That's cool. This one. So like, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, how? The problem solving, like I see problem solving in it. Look how this one's presented. There's, that's the other thing is, is going beyond just this, the shader balls, right? Shader balls are fine. I don't have an issue with them. This though, really like my head explodes. Look at this stuff. Wait, what? There's more? Anyways, we're just, we're focusing on you, Charlie, and there's a summer sale now, guys. <laughs> we're focusing on you, Charlie, and I think that's expanding outside of what you're doing now with uh, taking your materials into a completely different direction, challenging yourself. I mean, I think this was a challenge for you. Uh, just going, making just more materials. I love this one. That's freaking cool. Dude, what? I never noticed the grossness that's in there. <laughs> it's so real. <laughs> but yeah, you can see like this one's super saturated. But I, I feel like you're going for a much more stylized... You can do installation type materials too. Look at uh, Ben Wilson's stuff. He's got the thumbs up and everything. Yeah, he's getting into some weird, weird things. And I love it. It's like installation stuff. But like, see this one? This one's really interesting. It's relatable but also very weird, very alien, right? Anywho, I'm tangenting, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just talking about bringing your portfolio forward. And I think expanding into those directions would be super cool. Stuff is dope though, nice job, dude. And again, congrats on uh, getting this associate texture uh, artist position at Naughty Dog. I bet you're learning a ton there. It's probably a little crazy. But uh, yeah, all right. We're gonna get to the next portfolio. I think I have a question in chat as well. I'll be right back. What's this playlist? Oh wait, hang on, I have to leave first. All right, bye. <laughs>